Hey there, welcome back to Morning Manna. This week we are exploring different aspects of the coming hope that was found in Jesus. It's really important to realize that the hope of Jesus' coming was based on promises that God had already made. The expectation and desire of the Messiah was not formed from wishful thinking, it was rooted in what God said. After Jesus was born, his family took him to Jerusalem. Look at what Luke records in chapter two, starting at verse 25. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Messiah. Simeon had two types of hope here. There was the hope that he had from scripture, the universal hope for all Israel in the Messiah. And then there was a specific hope he had for himself, that he would live to see him. One was from God as revealed in the Bible. The other was from God revealed to Simeon through his Holy Spirit. Take a look at the next few verses. Moved by the Holy Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying, now Lord, you are releasing your bondservant to depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation. Simeon's hope came from the Lord. He didn't make it up or decide to hope in something that lacked substance because his hope was anchored in God. He had confidence and a faith that led him to hope fulfilled. The most assured things you can hope for can be found in scripture. Everything that we have and will have in Christ is a sure thing to hope for. But there may be some things to hope for that God has specifically put in your heart. Sometimes we hope for self-initiated things and sometimes it's from the Holy Spirit. Either way, the best thing we can do with our individual hopes is to give them to the Lord. Trust them to Him and allow Him to guide you into what's best. And even if our hopes are different than what God's plan is, you know that what He has is even better. I'll see you tomorrow.